Man, I sure do hope nothing comes up and bites me. Don't. No. Why? What are you? Stop. No. 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 Oh no. It is biting me. Despite your body being the first line of defense, if your skin is broken by an insect or other prick, the pathogens are allowed inside of your body. And now that the pathogen has gotten through your skin, it is through your bloodstream and such, where it can start doing evil, 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 evil deeds. Evil. Certain white blood cells that I think are called mycophages go through the bloodstream and protect it from invaders by using a thing called phagocytosis. This wonderful thing kills things with the power of killing things. Uh, neutrophils are smaller and more numerous in the body than macrophages. Neutrophils also killed by phagocytosis. Once the pathogen is inside the neutrophil, the neutrophil releases chemicals similar to bleach that kill the invading pathogen. However, these chemicals also kill the neutrophil. White blood cells are able to differentiate between not foreign objects such as red blood cells and other bad foreign objects like these germs, viruses, and other germs. Another type of what blood cell called a natural killer cell is found in the bloodstream. A lot macrophages and neutrophils and K cells do not attack pathogens directly or kill by phagocytosis. Instead, they recognize body cells that have become infected by a virus and kill them by releasing chemicals that poke holes in the infected cell membrane. Natural killer cells also recognize and attack abnormal body cells such as cancer cells. They play a key role in defending against cancer by killing abnormal cells before they could form a tumor. <laughs>